y'all so hopping right into the video we're um i'm gonna be showing you guys how i stick my hair up into a high puff on type 4 hair because i do have type 4 hair and so right now i'm just massaging my little hands through my scalp because my scalp was a little itchy and i'm going to be using my warm water on this bottle and i'm kind of just going to be spritzing the roots of my hair this is um these braids i have some braids in my hair they're one week old wig braids so that's why my hair looks a little curly and i'm taking my pick and i'm just gonna like kind of comb the roots up i don't want to disturb like the, the curls in my hair because i like my puff to have some definition to it sometimes i keep um sometimes i just do like a, a big old poof and then like a lot of times i just kind of twist my hair or i braid my hair after my wash and i'll that's and how that's how i'll define my puff and so i'm just spraying water all throughout my roots of my head and i'm just kind of combing that up just so that my hair um I, my hair is calm out for me to prep my hair for this puff so you just kind of want to pick your hair out to your liking and that's exactly what i'm doing just picking it out to uh, my liking and that it's all picked out and there's no like spaces or anything in between so now i'm just taking my alec natural um 17 essential oil and i'm putting that all on my scalps as you guys know my scalp my um my edges are a little um thin and so i like to use this oil to aid in growth and to just moisturize my edges so i always do this before i do any type of styling to my hair and now that it's done i am taking my moisturized hair butter from african pride and i'm moisturizing the roots of my hair And I'm just picking my hair out some more. So now that my hair is all picked out, I am gonna be taking my Eco Styler Black Castor Oil, um, Jamaican Black Castor Oil Gel, and I'm gonna start putting that all over my hair and for you guys okay so to have like a, a nice sleek hot puff you want to have gel y'all y'all want to have some type of gel to really get your hair nice and sleek and my hair is really thick so it takes me i have to put a lot of gel on my hair to get my hair nice and sleek so i'm just taking my little hard bristle brush and i'm brushing all that product through my hair and y'all gonna y'all just gonna see me um brush some more um gel through my hair just so that it's getting nice and sleek and molded into that um, puff. And like I said, these braids are one week old, so I'm trying to get all my naps, trying to get all that stuff brushed through my naps so this puff is laying. And at this point, I'm, my arms are extremely tired. I'm tired of doing this puff already. It's always like a workout for me. But, you know, we got to keep going. We got to keep going. And now I'm just taking these elastic bands. Um, I usually, what I usually do, I'll cut it and I'll tie it or whatever just so it's like nice and it kind of holds my hair in place so it's it's tight but it's not too tight to where it's causing tension on my hair if that makes sense and i always put two of those on so that my puff is nice and secured and i'm just kind of pushing that back the back part of it a little bit up because i want my puff to sit up a little high And here's that second one I told you guys about. I'm just putting that second one there so that it's nice and secured. And I'm just fluffing my little puff out just so she can have a little bit more volume to her. So I'm just adding some more gel around the perimeter of my hair just because my hair gets really curly when I'm doing this type of style. And so I just like to add more and more gel to make sure that she is laying. And I'm just brushing that product through. Taking some bobby pins so I can uh, secure some places in my hair because, you know, when I'm doing this style, uh, sometimes I have like some, some, 
parts of my hair kind of just be sticking or it's not laying flat enough for me so i like to go in and add me some bobby pins in the back of my head So I add a few, not too much, but I do add a few in there. So now y'all, we are not done. We got 10 to these edges. Just cause your girl edges are a little thin don't mean I can't stay my little edges. So I am taking some more gel and I'm running some gel up on my um, edges. And then I'm going to zoom y'all in real good. I'm going to zoom y'all in real good so you guys can see how I actually do my edges. I'm taking this edge control brush that I have and I'm just dipping it into that brush and swooping my edges into my puff. Now I don't get too fancy with my edges. I just kind of give them a little swoop and I, but I just swoop it into my hair. That makes sense. But y'all guys, you guys can see what I'm doing. You guys can see what I'm doing. So, depending on what side of my head I'm doing, um, if it's the left side, I'll swoop it in that direction. If it's the right side, I'll swoop it into that direction. And I'm just taking my Style Factor Edge Booster Edge Control. And this thing is the truth, you guys. This is the truth. These, This little edge control hold my edge my edges in place without giving me any type of residue or any type of white looking... Uh, any type white looking uh, i don't know for some reason most some edge controls that i use kind of leave like a little white residue on my hair and i don't like that but this one this one gets me right and so i'm just taking this other edge control brush because it's smaller and i'm really just brushing that edge control through my edges and as you guys can see my edges are laid you guys they're so laid Like I, again, like I said, nothing fancy on my edges. I just kind of swoop it right into my puff. And I like to give the middle of my hair a little swoop too. Nothing too much, but just a little bit of swoop. And now I'm just kind of running my hair through my puff. And I'm just going to tie my uh, tie my edges down and do my little makeup. And I will see you guys in the next clip. Okay, y'all, now that I am back, beating my face, uh, my hair is all done, and, it's, and my baby hairs are set. Um, it's really easy. I don't do too much with my hair when I'm putting it up in a hot puff. I don't really even style my hair like that too often. I don't do, like, too many different things. Um, I just always go for a puff or I'll do, like, a twist out or uh, sometimes I do, like, a little cute half up, half down type look. But, yeah, I don't really do too much with my hair, um, you know, this is usually how I do my bun. Um, I don't do too much with my baby hairs. I just kind of swoop it into my bun and call it a day. So, yes. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you guys are wanting more natural hair videos, keep them um, coming. Uh, keep the comments coming down in my description box and let me know. Also, thumbs up this video if you guys want some more natural hair videos. I've been trying to do, to do other videos um, because I'm not just a makeup person. I love other things. Um, I know I have not done a makeup tutorial in a while. If you guys want me to um, post one or request, like if you guys want to see a certain look, also let me know down in the um, comment section. And yeah, um, 
like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.